Hey toy fans, Aaron here from Toy Shelf Review and we're going to pop in with another episode here and take a look at the TIE Striker from Hasbro. So this guy was released on September 30th, the uh, Rogue Friday event. We're going to head over to the review table and check it out. Alright, so here we have the TIE Striker. Let's open it up and check out what's inside. Here's how it's packaged inside the box. As you see, we've got some assembling to do. So what we've got to put together here, you got the main body and we're going to snap the canopy on and then we've got the uh, little bottom side nerf attachment that needs to go on along with the two wings pretty self-explanatory here as for the wings you got a couple things to line up obviously you want the uh, nerf holders on the bottom and uh, what goes in here you got this little round part that sits inside and little two little snaps here that go in you can see they line up in here So here we've got the ship assembled. Uh, when you put the wings in, it's already in this down position. Unfortunately, you do have to manually lift each wing up. And then in the back here, you got a little switch. Pull that down. Wings go down with it. Got some nice detailing on the ship itself here. Look at the back. Underneath. Of course, now we have the, uh, the new Nerf accessories that go along with these. I know there's a lot of fuss about it, whether it should be there or not. In the end, it's a kid's toy. I know if I put this in my kid's hands, I mean, they're going to have a blast shooting this thing around. Little lever here on the bottom shoots out the accessory. So there we go. I mean, it comes out at a good pace, man. I mean, like I said, I put this in my kid's hands. They're going to have a ball running around shooting this thing out at the house. Canopy does open up. We got to look inside again, same as the Ewing. You know, you a lot of plastic detailing, no stickers to put in, no paint job though. So, when you do set it down, it does rest on the main body, no pressure going on the wings, as you can see here. Uh, so, while the wings are soft, they're not going to warp on you from, from having the body rest on it. It is a little wobbly. These two little parts here for the landing gear, I guess, if you want to call it that, and then the front is resting on this part right here. Ship does come included with a TIE Fighter pilot and here we have a closer look at the pilot. Uh, lots of little detailing on it. Uh, it. Does come with a little blaster. Mine's a little warped from inside the package. Got some detailing on the arm. Of course the Empire logo on the uh, shoulder there. And he does have just the standard five points articulation. Legs bend at the at the waist, arms, uh, the head tilts up and down. A little bit of side to side there. Helmet, of course, not removable. And I thought I'd just throw it next to the uh, Power of the Force 2 TIE Fighter. Uh, that's the one that came out in 1995. Gives you an idea how it looked displayed in your collection. It's a fun toy. Uh, I do wish that you could just flick the lever down and have these. I, it's a little annoying to have to move these up on your own, but you know. Well, that wraps up another episode of Toy Shelf Review. Did you like what you see? Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.